Welcome. What I want to do today is show you uh, the value of C that's going to help us complete this. What we need to do is we need to understand at least you know what exactly is our process for completing the square. So we're going to complete the square, and there's a lot of um, reasons why we're going to complete the square. But as far as just using the process for completing the square, one thing we want to make sure that we have is we have a polynomial that's in the quadratic form. All right. And most importantly, we want to make sure that our a is going to be 1. Now, completing the square just pretty much follows a pretty basic system. We're going to take our b and divide it by 2 and then square it. So in this form, you could say my b is going to be 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take 12, divide it by 2, and square it. Well, 12 divided by 2 is going to give me 6. 6 squared is going to leave me with 36. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole process of completing the square. For this problem, it's just asking us, what is the value of C that is going to um, fill us in for uh, letting us come using the complete the square process? So since I get 36, what we're going to do is you're going to add that as your C. So y squared plus 12y plus 36. So C is going to equal 36. And I'll just kind of help you out. Um, the reason why we want it to equal 36, and the reason why we do this process is because the next step they would use in completing the square would be to write this as a perfect squared binomial, which would be y plus 6 squared. But for right now, this problem just asks us what is our value of c that will complete the problem for completing the square. And all I need to do is just take my b divided by 2, square it, and I get c will equal 36. All right, that's it. Thanks.